Welcome to the show that teaches you the things your parents and teachers are too afraid to. The Helios blog. Today, Kevin Samuels can't believe Brittany Renner would say the things she says. This should be good. The reason she's alone is because she's difficult. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Women fuck men they respect. All the women who say things like, I'm strong, independent, I don't need no man, like, y'all impress me. Women just gaslight each other and say what they want to hear. And really look back and be like, there was nothing about my behavior that even would send a flag like, hey, I actually want to be taken seriously. I think I was- Oh, so she admits that she wasn't such a good girl when she was younger was like be a mind reader i'm gonna text you and talk to you every day maybe he'll figure it out and maybe he'll take me seriously it was a bunch of there was no intent so what she said is she got into a relationship with the guy because she wanted the the cash prizes and she acted like a lady of the night to do it she didn't you know look for a relationship she just tried to get pregnant attention and it took all, I mean, like I said, it's a it took all the rationalization in your body. Difficult road. Like, I, honestly, I'm 29. I had my first baby at 29. Mm -hmm. I would not recommend being a, a fucking single mom. Like, this shit is. She chased gold till she was 29 and finally hit the gold mine. She tells all single American women, do what I did. This is not for the faint at heart. And honestly, my situation is even beautiful because. I have help. Mm -hmm. My mom, anytime I got, like here, my mom is watching my baby. Right. Not a lot of women have help. I'm Indeed. So it's like uh, what Rula Tomasi said, right? It's like you uh, you leave your kid at home um, with mommy to go be uh, a lady of the night at the club. Baby mama is at the club. I'm listening. I posted something on Instagram today. I saw it. It was talking about. Yeah, I, I should we say when is the the wedding and right, right. all that shit? This this should not be an insult. When a woman says, uh, "I'm expecting," say, "Congratulations! I didn't know you got married." Indeed. Or congratulations on the wedding. There's so many women who are just go losing their mind, and I'm like, that's not supposed to be an insult. Yeah, it's it's not. Although it is subtly. It's uh, the the insult is you should marry before you carry, right? That's an inappropriate question. What world are we living in? Yeah. Indeed. Because the world we seem to live in is women who echo a lot of things I've heard you say today. I got to get mine. I got to protect me. I got to protect my kid. Get the bag, queen. Kid, I got to live in my truth. And that is self above everything else. Indeed. Where does, where does that leave it? Inherently it? selfish and self-destructive. A, a community, a nation, a anything. Well, I, I think my, my person. To, to think that you could ask a girl such a highbrow question is a little bit um, ambitious, Kevin. Because she's going to reply with my truth, my solipsism, right? They have trouble understanding global perspectives, right? Perspectives other than their own. Perspective on that is... A man is more than just what he can bring to the table. Right. And False. from my security prince from a to girl's you, to my child's right. father, a lot of men feel like if I wasn't in this position, you would think I'm worthless. And that is really a sad reality that a lot of guys, when you were talking on Vlad's interview, Vlad was the computer guy no one gave a shit about, but when he became DJ Vlad, everybody cared. I think... The only way that we could really start to trust each other, well, not the only, one of the ways I feel like we could start to trust each other. I feel like. Is when we're not looking out at a man as a cash out option. We're not looking at him as, oh, if I get with him, you know, I don't have to work. And that's just my perspective. And maybe what, that's. But, but how do we get there if we keep pushing hot girl summer, uh, buying, it's not. Me get that bag, queen. Men are told every day you're a sex object or a utility. And that's sad. But that's, okay, but who? But who's telling men this? Men aren't telling themselves this. So this is where I think it comes down to one, one thing about my show, my program. It has forced women to do something that they have resisted for the longest, to look at what they're doing 
Mm-hmm. Shahrazad Ali tried to get this done in the late 80s, early 90s, because we are not meant to be separated. And most... No, indeed. And girls are not meant to be, like, living in communities with no men, with with just kids, especially, like, boys, like young boys. They, they can't grow up in such an environment because they, they never turn out right. Most women... That most of the women who watch these programs are not in the position of the people they watch. They're just not. They're not in the position of the influencers or the musicians, or the entertainers, such and so forth. I'm like, you're you you got a social studies degree. Have you? I should. I, it's amazing. I hear women who are truck drivers, bus drivers, teachers, all want to be married to these guys who enlist to athletes and entertainers and CEOs and all that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you watch Kevin's show for any length of time, you see that most of these girls have no idea the caliber of man that they're actually looking for. Like, they have no idea how rare that kind of man is. They almost don't exist. They're that rare. Living this life, I'm like, where'd this come from? And it's ultimately, I gotta be happy. I gotta be happy. Well, I think that women are going to have to ask themselves, is mm-hmm. happiness a man or is happiness you live in your truth? Career or a man? Or is happiness uh, actually outside submission out of self? Because we become so self-consumed to where men are to the point like, well, even if you want to get married, where are the wives? That's what a lot of guys, that's kind of why we got started talking because a lot of guys are like, okay, where are the women who want to get married? Where are the women who want to build forward? And most women are not looking for average one of the middle guys uh they're looking for an extraordinary lifestyle so probably something different than everybody expected they probably expected me to sit here and tear you apart yeah i was waiting for you to why? ask my dress size why 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 do it isn't really required because we know britney's dress size it's not so high like it's not again she is um she does overvalue herself. That's without a doubt. She does think she's better than everyone. That's without a doubt. She is and has... She has made terrible decisions and lives in consequence to that every day. And she's solipsistic to a fault. That's without a doubt. Again, to everyone. People automatically <laughs> think that I'm just going to rip folks apart when I, 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 re, I, re give, I give energy back. I can agree with that. I feel like anytime I've watched her, I just I feel like lives and women come to, or men, whoever mm-hmm. come to you with fucked up energy, you just return the favor. Um, and I wouldn't say it's fucked up, but I would say, you know. Do you feel like you get a fair shot in most interviews? No. Why? Because you made bad decisions. You're a single mommy and uh, <laughs> you're 29 years old with no kids, no prospect, and you still think that what you're doing is right and that all women should live their own truth. Because a lot of men have their narrative about me. And in, I mean, just in recent interviews, um, I feel like they're like, this is the type of girl you are. What you're telling me is not the truth. Um, and that's kind of that. I still think you're a finesse. I still think you're this. And it's just like- She is a finesse. But I'm telling you the truth. Like I have nothing else to give. It's just, this is a, this is well, a real- one, The one video I did make, directly about you it and amber awesome. rose yeah yep i watched it i, I thought it was fair and i think people were disappointed that it was fair i've always did I, I, if you say who you are that's who you are and see my personal takeaway is i think that people should be more direct more upfront indeed uh that's without a doubt and then what happens happens people are, are not comfortable with being direct and upfront. I, I, everything by the way go look at the instagram video it's still up i said what i said then and i still stand by it um and i i think that it's interesting that so many of our our women um feel like they have to stand alone you have to stand alone unless you figure out how you're going to cooperate with a man that's right that, that's really what it comes down to um do you not see that? I w- so the principle is men are buying you. You are the seller. If you are the seller, you have to give the customer what they want. 
if you don't give the customer what they want and you do what you want, no matter what input you get, no matter what feedback you get, you're an idiot, right? Because you're not using the audience's opinion to fuel your future videos, right? Although, it's funny because a lot of people say, oh, you over-commentate Kevin's videos, let him talk. Well, this is my channel I do, unfortunately, need to put my commentary there as well, right? But, like, to think that I haven't, for example, used the comments that people have given me, or the views as an aggregate, to know what to do in the future is absolutely hogwash. It's a ridiculous idea. You must collect data and use that data to drive your future actions. So, that girls don't do it is nuts, ultimately. I would love to cooperate with a man. <sighs> On my own terms. But the reality is, a lot of times when a man gets you, in my experience, just the men, I'm not saying this represents all men. I don't think all men are bad. Like, no, only the men that you choose. Please don't crucify oh, me. Come, come please. Um, I just feel like, again, me. I feel like I have to water myself down. Of course you do. That's without a doubt. You can't just do whatever you want when you're in a relationship. You can't just do whatever you want. And it doesn't feel natural. I have no problem. All right. See, see, this is this is where <laughs> this is where I think. See what? All right. What? Does this have to work? And okay, honestly, I think I hear what you're saying. Do you have to water yourself down? No, I do really agree with it. You're more of a, I don't want to say free spirit. You are more rebellious. That's fine. But it's gonna take, like you said, somebody who's going to say, "All right, that's just her. She just wants to stand on the on the on the bar and twerk." That's yeah, cool. Yeah, that's exactly uh, what I want to do. I know. For as long as you know. But you can't do that as a married girl. You make yourself look terrible. We're at the club. I'm not gonna be in the club till I'm 60. And then go home. But the fact is. Yeah, but you want to go solo to the club? Do that get kissed up on by guys and then go home to your loving husband no you can't have it both ways you can't have fried ice you can be a wife or you can be a lady of the night you can't be both there are people that are like that but then also you're gonna have to understand that as a as a woman with a child you have to let a man know what value you're gonna bring to him uh being an asset in his life because often women know what kind of man they need right. like all right cool cool men will say i can do this 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 then what am i gonna get in return that's what the biggest question what does what do you bring to the table what do i get for accepting uh the rebel that has the kid who likes to stand on the table and twerk who wants to live in her truth who wants to be in the spotlight all right what's the benefit I would say my the biggest thing would be my uterus. Uh -huh. Well, <laughs> all right. Well, that comes standard on all models. <laughs> that comes standard on all models, and this is where I push. But you're just gonna have to figure out. You know, it's men are saying, "Yeah, cool." Then what? Because the kind of man you talk about is. Let me just switch gears. In the non-black community, especially in the white community, women can go from being sugar babies to strippers to suburban housewives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Scorts. Porn stars. Not yep. porn stars so much. But yeah, porn stars can't even do it. So it's not that it's not possible. Um, but you're going to have to decide eventually what it is you're going to bring to a man. Because, yeah, you can't, as I said, you can't be both at the same time. And here's the problem. When you choose to get that high in end count, when you choose to be that kind of crazy person, when you choose to do those things... What it does, it hurts you. And what I mean is it hurts your soul. You you destroy your own ability to pair bond. And when you destroy your own ability to pair bond, well, guess what? Then guys don't want you. Big surprise. You can't have a destroyed pair bonding capability and then expect to have a long-term relationship. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous this world is notion. such that I, I think there's a Sorry. fit uh, in the world you live in. Uh, he may be... Um, 
I don't know how old a man you date because because your other guy was younger, right? Yep, I don't discriminate though. All right. Yeah, I've, you do. Don't cop. I've dealt with someone who was over fifty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, don't be writing down in the comment <laughs> section. Right? And Kevin, she's dealt with Kevin too. Yeah, wait, like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, it, see, I, I have this theory. I have a theory. This like we don't have any black. The black heavyweight division of boxing has been watered down because so many of the would-be heavyweights are in the NFL. The group of wives for the businessmen in black America and the politicians, so many of those women down. are over on, you know, the OF and so on. Industry, what I consider the industry, athletic, entertainment, mm -hmm. music. So you got a lot of guys who are over here in coding and who are making 85000 to $150,000 a year. Good money. That's an that's amazing money. Yeah. Yeah. Can't and it's like like no man's land. Yep. Because you got women over here choosing Because you got women choosing like all the women are choosing Drake or whatever. Insert football player X. He's gonna be third in the rotation on some guy who's who plays football. Exactly. Well, or exactly. Be, and what the guy She smiles as she admits her past, because that's what she did with basketball player. Guys over here don't want, it's the guys over here don't want to say, okay, you lived the fast lifestyle, you got in the club, you did this, that. These guys over here have eight to five. They got 401k in three weeks off. It's a different life. It's not the, it's not the, let's just jump up and go to uh, so-and-so and everything's content. That's different. Uh, and I think that I know more women that are, uh, not at your level, obviously, but there are a lot of women who want to be at your level, mm -hmm. who are still actively seeking that lifestyle, who get bored with this. Yeah, 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 exactly. They chase the rocket, as it were, of these high-value men who, of course, they're never going to commit to the girl. And sometimes she gets pregnant, sometimes she doesn't. But they're not boring, right? Because a guy that works a nine-to-five, oh, that's boring. Why would I ever be with that? He's a loser. He's a brokey. Meanwhile, she can't even put two cents together to go to, you know, Denny's, right? But he's the loser. Um, I think you have to find a way to make that transition interesting because you're from where, Mississippi? Ocean West? Ocean Springs. Come on, you're a country girl. I'm a Southern Belle, big dream. You, yeah, yeah, you, you ride No, you're not. Horses? Mm-hmm. Yep. Like equestrian ride horses? No, I just, uh -huh. like a hobby. Okay, do you play any instruments? I used to play, I kind of did some stuff on the keyboard, but I'm not like a... What, are, what talents? Music, singing, or anything? Her talent is uh, twerking at the club. I mean, I played soccer. And I also played semi-professional, and then I quit. Dance? That. What kind of dance? Um, I just started taking ballroom oh, okay. just dance, started uh, dance classes. Just at 29 years old. I just... Tango, wall. All that. Yeah. I also want to, you know, it's like in my, I'm learning how to dance too, because it's like... Okay, when I get married, how am I gonna know how to dance? So yeah, you got father took three years of salsa, samba, merengue, <laughs> tango. I'm That's a impressive. That's how you get, you know, like Latina girls or whatever. You do that, yeah. It's a great way to meet girls when you're a salesman like Kevin and you, you don't see girls at all. You're just trying, you're going from one fair sale to the next because that's what he worked as before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> People think they know, they don't know. They don't, they don't have any, they don't even know how tall you are in person. Okay, Let's okay. start let him, let him keep saying I'm short. <laughs> let him keep saying I'm short and gay. He'll run with that. I told him I was going to troll the shit out of him too. Um, but seriously, you know, I think from what I gathered, I, I think you relish playing the role of rebel. I think the rebel is what's been offered to you and my guess is it's rather exhausting yes. to kind of keep telling people i'm not a gold digging horse let bitch whatever <laughs> so i'll just lean into it um yeah. well some people like to call a spade a spade it's not really necessary but some people like to do it because you know like it's like the emperor's new clothes somebody's got to say it i get it you know um, I think it, in some ways it can be empowering, but I also think it can lead to being a little uh, lonely. <laughs> I, I think ultimately, I know most women really do want family. It's <laughs> just 
<laughs> yeah, they just only want it on their terms. They only want it their way, and they're not willing to compromise, settle, or do what's actually needed to get the what they want. How to get it done and live in their truth and get what they want. Um, and that's what it's going to come down to. You get what you negotiate. Indeed. You yeah. get what you negotiate. And this is where people do not like me because I don't care about love. I grew up in that romantic stuff. I don't care about love. I care about sitting down and hammering out a table, hammering out a deal. You got this, I got that. Here's the deal. We'll figure out this love thing as it comes along. The baseline has to be here. Can I look you in the face and have sex with you? Okay, then everything else can be negotiated. Really? Yeah. Because, That's pretty simple. Well, men are easy to please, right? Men are easy to please. What, what did your great, what did your grandparents and your great grandparents get back in the night, turn of the century? Did they date long? Dating is dumb. Okay. I mean, oh, I think dating is dumb. Tell me what the what is dating so, for? What is dating for? I mean, it's to have bedroom fun as much as possible with no commitment. I'm just, you're dating. I'm assuming to marry. I think that's the ultimate goal. Is your date? Well, now that you're 29, that's what you date for. But what did you date for when you were 18, 19, 20? to most see if this you, could work. Most people you date, you don't marry. Well, let me tell you, something. I didn't really date with a lot of intention. But I Indeed, which means you weren't dating, you were doing rocket. I thought in my mind, I'm like, I want long term. Most people date and don't marry the person they date. How this is supposed to work. Let's hear. I go over to, what's his name? His name is Prince. I go to Prince. I'm like, all right, I've got, a, I'm a, I've got a farm and I've got a, a general store. I've got need of a wife. You've got four daughters. Uh, I need a wife. All right. So we join our families together. I'll take this one. She can come <laughs> over here and be the wife. I need the kids. And you come to the house, you automatically been trained, taught by your mother, you know, how to cook, clean, da, da. You know some of the things that you are. You know your role. You know what you're supposed to be doing. Yep. Automatically get into your bag. I make the deal with Prince. There is no dating. Prince vets me and says, uh-huh, well, that house is his, it's in his name. That Okay, well, cool. You can take over my daughter, and now she's transferred to you. That was the extent of that. It's like um, political marriage, right? That, yeah, that... Again, I fail to see how it's a bad system. I, I think it's a much better system than, than modern 2024 dating. And I think... It's just going to be rediscovered, right? It's just going to be a renaissance, right? We're going to go back to arranged marriage, I think. Because the culture is so bad, arranged marriage will become a necessity. How do you find a non garden and tool girl? The only way is through arranged marriage. I know your daughter has not done that because I've been watching her for however long. I know your family is of good stock. I know you raised her properly. Our kids are going to get married. Dating, you got the choice. You got the choice to say, yeah, daddy, I want to, or no, daddy, I don't want to. Yeah. Ultimate choice, and they call that arranged marriages and something. It just means that girls have veto power. They can, they can say no, but they didn't really negotiate it, right? In places, but um, that's how it's a supposed to work you're not supposed to have this prolonged dating and, and this whole thing you're supposed to get on down the path because if you've lived with somebody before you know you really don't know nobody till you live with them right so the best you could do is run the background check and everything and you ain't gonna find <laughs> crazy in the background <laughs> check ain't none of this shit gonna work in the background check they're gonna show up who they show up i yeah. think it's better to have a four-year failed marriage and a four-year girlfriend because at least you can say you went down that path and we have and I, one thing I particularly just don't like in our community is women feel like being a mother is less serious than being a wife. Yeah, that's cra that's that's actually crazy. That's crazy in 2024 that girls like just have kids and just take care of them. No husband. That's that's crazy to me because the only way it's possible is through welfare, right? Like if if this was like the savannah, you need a, a man or else you die when you have a kid. So you purposely lean on social services so that you don't, like, get annihilated. It's, it's a very terrible system, actually.
because there's such a stigma on marriage because you got to give up yourself. You got to give this. And I call it the color purpling of the black community. Everybody, every black man, I think, has to fight against that image of Mr. that's been put in so many black women's head. And it, that ain't never been us. Not in mass, anyway. Relationships are, 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 are work. Yep. Mm-hmm. Love, love comes and goes. You, you know, when, when was the last time you was happy? Happiness is up and down, up and down, up and down. But there's duty, uh, honor, respect. That's right. And uh, when people say happy, they don't usually mean happy. What they mean is not miserable. Aren't you a Pisces? Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Pisces. Me too. Yeah. I'm spiritual, but not religious. Um. So, I okay. But I can I, turn off the empath when I need to. Right, but here's my thing. I know you believe in love and i know that it's still duty so honor respect it can still be that but don't you want that woman you can just push the tables back in the steakhouse and do the bachata with in the restaurant don't you want magic like at what point oh my god this is like the romantic comedy romantic comedy reality okay we're going to end yeah she's delusional we're going to end the video there. Hit the like, hit the sub, hit all the notifications, drop me a donation. Like Hunter M, Adrian Ottoman, Bobby Dylan, Renaissance Press, Brian, Andrew, and Alan. Shout outs to you. Most recent purchaser. Wow. Most recent purchaser of Strategist Guide to Deduction. Thank you. Go buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios Books. Want to see my videos in batches of four or three instead of one per day? Well, you can. I offer early access on my Patreon. Just go to patreon.com slash the Helios blog. And of course, if you want me to help you out, I do offer coaching services. Just message me at the Helios blog at gmail.com and I'll slot you right in. Okay. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Especially if you listen to the end. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time.